Welcome to Real Food. Today I am going to review my visit to Amazon Fresh Store. Amazon opened several um, of their new Fresh Store uh, types um, outlets um, throughout London and today I've had the chance to actually try it for the first time. Well the idea behind these stores is that you don't actually have to do any checkout. So you don't have to move your um, purchases from your basket into another bag at the checkout and then uh, wait um, uh, for this to happen or or spend some time queuing so um, they say it's all going to be quick and nice and easy and then you simply receive your bill um, at the end through your Amazon account so um, today I am going to try um, how this works I'm going to show you what you can see inside this store and um, I'm also going to show you what I bought and how this receipt um, arrived, whether it arrived on time or not. Um, hint, it didn't actually arrive very quickly. <laughs> you know, not, not as quickly as they said they would, it would. Um, uh, and I'm also going to show you what I actually bought in that store. So, um, this is what I bought in this store. I bought... Um, I bought um, this um, coconut water and um, as I show you all these items I'm going to comment briefly uh, on, on pricing and how convenient it was. Generally speaking um, my my biggest, um, um, well it's not a disappointment, it's just how it's designed so far, is that the store is relatively small. Yes, there are there's a bit of everything in this store, there's a little bit of veg, um, fruit, um, well I bought this drink in there I also bought um, blueberries. Here's my blueberries. Um, they seem nice. Um, I bought this salad here. Um, but the selection is very small. So it's it's one of those express type, um, sort of corner corner shop types um, convenience stores. In terms of pricing, I found that their pricing is um, generally um, very competitive. It's not the cheapest store. It's not as cheap as Lidl or anything like that. Um, but it isn't as expensive as Waitrose either. And they have um, nice products which I, I wanted to buy, which I consume regularly. For example, this smoked um, salmon is very nice. And it says by Amazon. Um, I, I don't know if Amazon actually makes salmon themselves. <laughs> Probably not. But they've got the packaging sorted. They have a lot of um, Scottish branded um, products. For example, this um, um, salmon item. I've also found these very interesting sardines. These actually show that they are from Morrison's. So they've um, it's not a secret that they actually uh, teamed up with Morrison's. So it's a part, some kind of partnership. So there's a lot of Morrison's products in this Amazon store. So if you like Morrison's and you don't have a store, a Morrison's store near you, Amazon can bring these products to you. So um, I've also I found this lemon. I bought two lemons. Um, that was nice. Um, here we are. There's another one here. Um, I also found um, uh, fresh, um, freshly made sandwiches and baked goods. Um, fairly convenient there. Um, there was this stall with uh, fresh uh, sausage rolls, um, Cumberland sausage um, bun or roll. Um, it was tasty, as you can see. I've already eaten it. I quite enjoyed it. It wasn't very expensive, but it was warm. It was tasty. It was well cooked. Again, it says by Amazon. I don't know if they actually make these in store. Um, there must be some additional um, area in that Amazon store where they maybe prepare these um, hot items. So what else? Um, yes, so um, I did mention that the selection of their fruits and vegetables is very small, but I did find things that I actually like. For example, these, um, these citrus fruit, grapefruit, I've got lemons. Um, I bought two lemons just to see if their system will figure out um, that I've actually purchased two lemons uh, because they were just in a basket um, you could just pick one by one with your hand uh, there's no markings on them of any kind um, so I was curious if if, um, if their machine will, will get it right so I simply grabbed one put it in my bag and then I grabbed another one put it in my bag and I've actually seen the receipt now I can say yeah they, they got it right so they, they, they counted two correctly um, so another thing I bought, I bought some, I'm going to show you this bread, um, 
fresh bread I bought. Um, this is um, this is the bread I picked. Again, there was no markings on the bread itself. It was on the shelf, so I picked one, put it in my bag, and um, the system calculated it correctly. Um, again, in terms of bread, um, there wasn't a huge selection of breads um, there, unfortunately. I would much prefer if there was more choice and um, um, maybe variety and maybe there, there were pastries and there were other uh, sandwiches etc etc but it wasn't as you know it wasn't as extensive well I guess if the space is limited you have to just you know use the essentials in them so there was also a um, a fairly large um, alcohol section wine se section in there you could just go into that section and um, pick a bottle of red or white or, or get some beers uh, this section was separated, um, and um, uh, from what I read, um, they say that there would be a member of staff to check your ID, you know, to make sure, you know, you, you comply with with restrictions on age um, when you pick those. Um, there, I did see somebody there um, for a while, but when I got there, um, I could just pick something, and well, I suppose you know somebody would um, if they see that you are using alcohol. Or maybe their algorithm can determine how old you are. I don't know. So they probably did determine that I was um, of legal age, <laughs> so I could just go there. Uh, so, so yeah. So all this was fairly easy and um, and relatively um, um, simple to to complete. And another thing I, I'm going to mention is that. Um, Amazon are currently running promotions, so if you visit one of their stores um, in central London, um, as far as I know, um, at the moment these promotions um, um, are valid for their new stores, and these new stores will be, there's one in Islington, um, near Angel Station, um, and there's another one in um, Holborn, near Holborn Station. So these stores, if you've never been um, in these stores before, uh, when you visit them for the first time, Amazon will actually deduct from your bill ten pounds, so they'll give you ten pound credit. Um, and the way it works, you actually need to buy at least ten pounds uh, worth of goods, or more, uh, because if you buy a smaller, uh, less, um, basically they will deduct um, that amount um, from your shopping. But you will lose, let's say, for example, if you bought five pounds worth of goods. Um, they will give you this £10 credit, uh, you will pay nothing, but then you will also miss out on f another £5 worth of goods. So it's worth taking a, a, at least £10 worth of um, items from their stores, and then you will benefit fully from this discount. Well, if you take more, then they'll simply deduct, uh, like in my case, they deducted, I bought £18 worth of stuff, and um, they deducted £10 at the end, and I only paid eight eight pounds so this is valid for anybody so you can even if you shopped um, with Amazon before in other stores if you visit um, Angel or Holborn store you will actually get this discount so a uh, 10 pounds or 20 pounds from Amazon just before Christmas yes and and this um, this promotion is valid till I think it's 26th of January if I'm not mistaken so um, do take advantage of this well um in terms of other things that um, I wanted to mention um, in this review, um, on my way back home, I, I noticed that Tesco also opened a store with the same technology, <clears throat> well, similar technology, and they're literally across the road from this Holborn store. I did um, um, talk to, to their staff in there, and they said I would need to download another app. So I couldn't do the same with Amazon app. <laughs> so I needed a separate app. Um, so and I didn't have one. So a Tesco are going to compete uh, head to head with Amazon on this um, offering on this technology. Um, and I'm you know there is a, a short clip of their new store which I will show here. Um, but um, but um, in terms of um, Tesco, I actually suspect they might be more successful. Because from what I've seen so far, Tesco offers a, a much larger range of their products. Um, the range of their products is well known to their customers. And also from what I've seen, uh, their the, the staff is more friendly. Because in Amazon, you know, I'm not saying they, they were not unfriendly, they were unfriendly or anything, but it's just a security guard at the, at, the, at the door. And inside, the people that were operating, they were just doing their work, you know, not particularly trying to be friendly with me or anything. 
Whereas with Tesco, I could see several people outside、um, by the door, welcoming and very chatty and friendly. I had a chat with them. So it looks like Tesco does want to make an impression with this technology. So I will try that Tesco store, but I don't have the I don't have the app just yet. So I'll need to download the app and then try that store and maybe、um, produce a more interesting, more comprehensive review. Um, of what Tesco is doing, but from what I've seen, it's very very similar. You basically you go in, you open the gates with your QR code,、um, you shop, and you go home, and then you receive your your bill. I'm hoping that Tesco will produce the receipt much quicker, because with Amazon, I actually waited much. Amazon told me I'd I'd get it within half an hour. But I didn't get it within half an hour. It took more than half an hour. It took hours and hours. I don't know exactly when. At some point at, during the day, I got it. So,、um, in my next segment, I'm going to show you、um, my receipt, my my Amazon receipt, what I bought, how much it cost. I did mention briefly already that their pricing is sort of halfway through, not too cheap, not too expensive. You know, obviously Amazon being Amazon, they have access to a lot of data. They've Analyzed it and produced something mid-range. So I'm going to show you what I bought and how receipt looks like, and um, um, and hopefully um, this will be useful for you.